in, in Genesis chapter chapter six, he said, "My spirit can no longer strive with man, mm. but, but because he is also flesh." So God said, "Now that he understands, you know, flesh is what a way of thinking." Right. Once he became into the knowledge of good and evil, he developed his own understanding. And when God used the word strive, Cornetta, that was like in battle, right? When you study. So what was going on? Flesh and blood, and uh, flesh and spirit battle didn't just start now. Yeah. It was going on from then. Yeah. And God said, I'm tired of my spirit trying to convince you of something when your understanding tell you something else. Yeah. And I don't want this battle to go on because you're sin now. You're separated from me. Why? Because you didn't believe me. The devil lied to you. You acted in disobedience out of unbelief. And now you've been separated from me. Now this faith between you and I is called sin. Oh, wow. So here's what happened. The fellowship was destroyed. Yes. The relationship still remained. Can I bring it home for you? Some of y'all in relationship with people who live there, but there's no fellowship. Come on. All y'all are saying, you know, I'm a preacher anyhow. Y'all don't like that. Just because it's relationship don't mean there's fellowship. Right. And even God still, even though God still was in relationship with his man, there was no fellowship because the spirit of fellowship had left them because he got tired of fighting with them. Really yes, you all understand what I'm saying? Yes. So now God says, God always had a plan. It was always in the plan. It, yes. Let me tell you something. When you disobey because of unbelief is one thing. Mm -hmm. When you disobey trying but you didn't do the right thing that God told you, that's another thing totally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a disobedience called from unbelief. That's the disobedience God talks about. There are mistakes that people make, and I don't call them mistakes, but there are decisions that you make sometimes that might be the best decision for you. Yeah. God don't feel disobedience. That's the time when His Spirit becomes strong in you, and your weakness is strength becomes perfect. Yeah. God, I'm preaching good here. Come on, the right church is to call you. So, watch this now. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me finish teaching this. What happened here was that the fellowship was broken. So, when God showed back up again to, re to reestablish the fellowship, the first person he chose, remember he chose Noah to keep people alive. Right. And Noah is the firstborn of faith. Yeah. Not Abraham. Yes. The Bible calls him the heir of the righteousness by faith. Right. You know, God always used the second born. Mm -hmm. Noah was the first of faith, but he used Abraham. Mm -hmm. Adam was the first, but he used Jesus. Yes, yes. Israel was the first, but he used Jake, uh, uh, Esau was the first, but he used the Lord was the first coming, but he uses I should charge you. So let's see what happened in Leviticus. What happened with this is, I love you, Jesus. What happened was God came back down based on his own eternal calendar to reestablish fellowship. Yeah. Let me show you how, how patient God is and why you should be patient. Yeah. It took thousands of years after he spoke to Abraham for the fellowship to happen. My Lord. But he was working the whole time to bring us to a place of fellowship. Yes. Wow. God ain't saying nothing yet. And that's when we get a word, we get impatient, we want to run at it. But God's working slowly to make sure you're ready for it when you get it. Are you going to hear with me? The first time, what's the different size of God? I'll take you somewhere. When God showed up to Abraham, he showed up as El Shaddai, mm. Almighty of God. He is provider, he's protector, yeah. he's just God. So he dealt with Abraham. I, I, I know you don't believe me. Uh, Genesis chapter 6, Exodus chapter 6. Okay, I'm going to show you something. Exodus chapter 6. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you something. I, I'm teaching today, man. I know you all used to be preaching another way. But I, I, I want to deal with this today. Exodus chapter 6. I believe it's verse, it's verse 1. Yeah, what's the, what would God say? To, to, what's the, I'm going to show you something. Read it. Then the Lord said unto Moses, Now shalt thou see what I will do to Pharaoh. For with a strong hand shall he let them go. And with a strong hand shall he drive him out of his land. And God spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty. But by my name Jehovah was I not known to them. Whoa. Y'all missed that. Can you get it? Y'all missed what he just said. He said, I, Abraham and Isaac and Jacob knew me as El Shaddai. Mm -hmm. They never knew me as Jehovah. Yeah. Because I'm changing my, my oh, y'all, yeah. I'm moving to, oh, so. oh, y'all said, I'm moving towards my fellowship now. Right. So they just knew me as a sovereign God, but they never knew me as Lord. Wow. And now Moses, you're going you to be the one whom I use for them to know me as Lord. Uh -huh. As only
one of all things Jesus. as Jehovah. Glory to God. Uh, Israel knew him as Jehovah, God present. The present one, the existing one, God the creator of all things, God, no, no, God the, the sustainer of all things, Jehovah. So he went from being God Almighty to God existing, present. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. wow. I'm telling you something, I'm having you all here. He went from being the Almighty God, the sovereign God, the infinite God, who just dealt with you from afar off, like they, that some people still believe, but he went to being Jehovah, God present with you. Yeah. Wow. God help me here right now. He, the, now. Now Jehovah is what? God the Lord. Yes. So now he's the owner of all things. Yeah. He's your caretaker now. You all not saying nothing. Mm -hmm. Because he's the owner of all things. So he became Jehovah unto Israel through Moses. Yes. So now he be, he's involved with them because he's present with them. Uh, Are you all here with me? Yes, sir. Are you all here with me? Yeah. yeah. Glory to God. I'm helping you all a little bit with this. Yes, sir. I don't want to get too excited. Jehovah, the existing one, the present God is Lord. God present and involved with us is Jehovah. He got involved with Moses. He got involved with Israel. He gave them a covenant yes. called the law. Because yeah. he's involved with them. Mm -hmm. So now he went from being the infinite God of creation uh -huh. unto the almighty God with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now he's God Jehovah, uh -huh. who is Lord. Yes. Remember now, the whole mission is what? To reestablish the fellowship the of the Lord. Come on, the Oh, y'all, some of y'all read the Bible and see where I'm going with it. What he was, his mission was to reconcile you unto himself. Yeah. Everybody was lost because what happened with Adam was an abyss came between God and man, which is called sin. Sin is not your cigarette. Sin is not your clothes. It's not your behavior. It's your position. And since Jesus took care of that, there is no issue of sin with God right now. Somebody say amen to that. So here's the way of going around. Y'all ain't saying nothing because the way that sin Death. He told Adam, you eat that fruit, bro, you're going to die. But Adam didn't die for the fruit. Jesus did. Wow. Uh, yes. Good he died. Because when Adam lived, and one man disobedient, many became sinners. So by the days of one, so many become righteous. So Jesus paid the death that God told Adam, because all men died when Jesus died. Now since he rose up, we all live again. Somebody say, I'm Hallelujah. That's why I like to have my head set. So now in Exodus, he's the Lord, the owner, yeah. present God, providing everything for you, protecting you, doing everything for you, giving you covenant cue. You know what covenant with God means? It means that he's dealing with you every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the mediator of the Lord, they had a system where you couldn't go to God for yourself. Right. They had a high priest doing that. Yeah. But, Betty, he had us on a journey. Preparing mankind on, along the way for a place of fellowship. Come on. And then the next thing he did was reveal himself to the world of Jesus. Yes. Good God. Oh. Jesus, the Son of God. Uh -huh. The Son part of God. Yeah. Who is Savior. Yes, sir. Redeemer. Yes, sir. Mediator. Yes, sir. God with us. Yes, sir. Puzzle us. with us. You understand me? God who died for us, so he's God present with us. Hallelujah. I believe I'm teaching this right. Uh, I see like somebody won't be defeated this morning, but I'm, I'm, I'm out. We just got to win. Somebody said we got to win. We got to win. So now, Jesus came as the Savior of the world. Now we're close to fellowship. Because he came to redeem the man back yes. from sin. Yes. Good God. So he became Savior. He became Redeemer. He became Justified. He became the mediator of another covenant. So now we're not under the law anymore. There's another covenant. There's another covenant. Another you don't know about another covenant. Yes. So now Jesus became. Now God is going to express. Let me take it through. Now I'm not going to preach long. First, He would arrow Him, God, infinite, the Creator, who came and when He did. Remember, I taught you when the Spirit came on the face of the water, the world was already created. Yes. The Holy Ghost didn't come to create the world. That's what they teach us sometimes. The world was already created. When he sent the Spirit, the Spirit came to perfect what was created. Hallelujah. He came to call to light what was in darkness. That's right. That's right. Oh! So now when the Holy Spirit comes, he always comes to bring light. You know, you have to understand. So now we have the Elohim God. And then we have the Almighty God who dealt with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah. Who is God on earth, the, the God involved. Now we have Jehovah who dealt with Israel. Now we have Jesus sent to the world for redemption. Come on. Yes. Y'all see the process? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Can y'all keep up with me here? Yes, sir. So Jesus
Jesus, now what's it? Jesus paid the debt owed to redeem the man back. So he was God express, a savior, redeemer, mediator, justifier, everything was in Jesus. He was born in far transgressions, bruised by iniquities, the time of our peace. It was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Are we here together? Amen. So we understand now this is another revelation. Jesus is what? Another revelation of the Son of God. Not under God, 